All right, it's time to go run barrels. Classy girl. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Oh my God. Let's go to a rodeo. Let's go. What's up, Flomies? It's sunrise in Oklahoma and time for me and Classy to go make a barrel run in Claremore, Oklahoma. So we are staying at one of our favorite boarding facilities overnight and time to get our butts to the rodeo. Oh, I'll be running you again soon. Um, hey, can you get out of here? Okay, come on. Yeah, Annie, come on. Come on. Now we're ready. Yeah. Time to make a run. Okay, Miss Classy is wearing this halter. You can get it at valentaylor.com. So cute. Okay, today we are rocking our Man Sports custom breast collar. We got Batman black and yellow. We got that Man Sports piece. And my brand new sports saddle came in, so I'm very excited about that. It's had one run on it in practice, and I loved it. So it's fantastic. Now you know what time it is. It is time, and I'm almost out of my brain bridge. Right now, I think this is the last scoop. You guys have to hurry and use code Fallon um, for 20% off because I'm gonna be doing a giveaway with Man Sports very soon. I don't know of any other barrel racer in the parking lot that has an English setup, an English saddle in her trailer. I might be the only one. I am rocking that turquoise ranch dress in peace and my pink FT hat because my hair is atrocious and I forgot my makeup at the house, so YOLO. All right, it's time to go run barrels. It is warm, warm in Oklahoma. Excuse the helmet hair, don't care. Excuse me, Classy, I'm vlogging hair. I'm vlogging, okay? Classy and I were amazing today. She ran an 18-0 on a standard pattern. They're currently winning it with like a 17-2. Then in the pack are NFR qualifiers, 17-5s, 6s, 7s, and 9s. And then us with an 18-0, I'm really excited because found out that I have a broken scapula. So it's healing back-ish. <laughs> Kind of. I now know a little bit more why I'm kind of being slung around, feeling off centered, and this is a big strong mare, so I'm so excited. I do feel like Classy's getting a little homesick because she started to nicker at other horses today and some bulldog and horses, so I'm gonna make sure that she gets home because her baby is at her home and her other friends and loved ones. So I'm gonna get her home until the next rodeo because today I feel like she's homesick. And for those of you guys that don't listen to your horses that well, you need to start because these creatures are magical unicorns and they're talking to us every day and they stop talking when they think that we stop listening. So my deep thought for today is you're never gonna find like the perfect click to be in to get yourself in the right mental state. So you need to really work on who you are and what you wanna be and what you wanna learn because when you go somewhere to do something and you really take a risk, you're gonna be by yourself. Last night I drove by myself, put my horse up by myself, stayed in a hotel room by myself, drove my truck and trailer to a, you know, a kind of a sketchy area to stay in a hotel, had to learn to, not last night, but I've learned to be able to be really good at being alone. And I think that's a really important lesson. If you're not already good at that, no matter what your goal is, you need to start perfecting how to not be scared to go out and do things on your own because that is step one. Before you can run, you've gotta crawl. And I think that's really, really important because a lot of people have phobias of certain things, but they have really big goals, but they're not willing to work on that phobia. So today, like, just make a mental note as what it is that you need to work on, whether it be being alone or anxiety or certain fears. Like, maybe your goal is to go to the NFR in barrel racing, but you're scared to drive over bridges. You gotta learn how to perfect driving over bridges before you're gonna go to the NFR because you're gonna go over a lot of bridges. So just keep that in your mind, and that's it for Deep Thoughts with Valentine Taylor. 
time to go home because I got some cool things in the works at the house. I made it home and finally changed my clothes. Are you guys proud of me? I didn't prepare well for the rodeo and the stop and all the things that I had to do, but we are in the arena. I know the electric mobile is in here. It's just because we had bad weather and all the stuff. I want to talk to you guys about one of the coolest aspects that our boss has decided is an okay rule here. And by boss, I mean baby flow. But here's a rule that's in place for the employees. I think every place should employ. I'll check it out. So the rule here at the ranch is that you are allowed to bring your dogs to work. And I think all the dogs, so the only dogs that we have purchased, by we I mean me, is Ryan. Flynn the Frenchie. Follow her on Instagram here. And Harper, which Alex got before we met. And then everything else is a rescue. So there's Abuelita, Abuelita. the newest rescue. There's Snow. She got rehomed to our home. And th this is what Stormy does to her dogs <laughs> Run, all day. We need a hot fire yelling at, at dogs Run, montage. Okay, at five o'clock, when Stormy goes to go home, <laughs> if the dogs are in the pasture, it looks more like this. Ronnie! Ronnie, Clark! Come here! Ronnie! Clark! Ronnie! Clark! Clark! Ronnie! Ronnie! Clark! Ronnie! Clark! Pick up on aisle three! Ronnie! Clark! Clark! Ronnie! Ronnie! Well, let's go home! That's more what it's like. It's a panicked confusion. And then Jesse and Cody rescued Annie. Annie begot Earl and Millie. I didn't really rescue those dogs. I rescued my friends from having 10 puppies. All right, come on. So they didn't end up in a shelter. They ended up here. Earl does a great job at keeping the place mice free. Yeah, he likes mice. He really does. And then these two geniuses. Clark and Ronnie. Now, Ronnie, we never thought would actually live to tell the tale. Ronnie, no. come here. Because we thought he come just here. was going to run off and be horrible forever. Come now, Ronnie is you. white <laughs> under the mud and the poop. He is really into all things. This guy right here is working on Ranch Beautification 2018. So, Sorry. you want to wave? No. You want to give us a wave? Maybe. It's no wave. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Here's a lot. Heel. Oh, nice boy. Ronnie, sit down. Tell me. Yeah. Say thank you to Jesus. Yeah. All right. Say thank you to Jesus. Say thank you to Jesus, Hit my drink is protein. Say thank you to Jesus, Ronnie. Ronnie, pray. Hug that muddy dog. Ronnie, we pray. That's very beautiful. Yeah. Ronnie, pray for the Flomies. That then drink their protein and then say thank you to Jesus. And yeah, then count their all the blessings, especially Ronald. Yeah, that was very, very nice. <laughs> that was literally the cutest footage of life in this vlog. <clears throat> if you like that, make sure and comment below. Tell us who your favorite dog is. Don't forget that Sheba is not here. Alex no. would be very mad if we don't mention Drama. Drama is a rescue dog. I've the had her for eight years. G. I've had her forever, yeah. She goes hard. And she is to a place where we know that she's got some cancer stuff going on in her hind like, end or something. How old? 14. I don't know. They told us to amputate and put her down, and we said, nah. Yeah. So, like, and now she's walking and, and she's like, walking living and in living Dallas. her best life. <laughs> oh, she's living in Dallas. Hey, gotta amputate my legs. Take yeah. <laughs> Take me to Dallas or cut my legs off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dallas or die. Dallas or so, die. she lives in Dallas. Every once in a while, we bring her out here, but we notice that she isn't able to go up and down the stairs, and our bedroom is on the second floor. So, well, she really, really gets this leg just. Straight up. Yes. Dad, this is my daughter. Did you see things? Yeah. Oh, wow. Listen, it's a very good job. She got a little dirt on her nose. Yeah, listen. Yeah. Ranchy. It's nap time. Yeah, yeah play the lullaby song, Clark. Clark, what are you doing? Clark. 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 How do you spell Clark? K C L A R K. Clark. K. Clark. 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 No, it's K L A R T. Clark. Clark. 
With the K, yeah. Oh no! Which? Sorry. What is no. <laughs> no. Um, he was no. supposed to be a full size beagle, too. I am supposed to put you in my car like this. Look at this and one. I gotta put this one in like truck, it's fine. <laughs> I can't believe this is a thing. This is workplace harassment, I'm pretty sure. Our mom loves the attention, <laughs> so. Will you pick up Ronnie? Will you pick up Ronnie? He likes that. Yeah, clap like that. Pick him up. Okay, with those skills, you can catch bath salts. Yeah, yeah, yes, good job. Good job. Ronnie, come here. Look at the way Millie sits. Come here. Good. Yeah, she oh, is really Millie. cute. That's a good boy. He don't like that. He don't like that. No. Cheetah Rosa. Oh. There's yeah. Cheetah Rosa. Cheetah Rosa. That's Co she lives in Cody's Louis Vuitton. Yeah. After Chalupa. Went on to greener pastures. Yes. Because we just figured she's not that smart and will just straight up not that bright. Leave. Look at her. No, she's not. Don't eat rocks. Hey, don't eat rocks. Yeah. Oh, what is that? However, she can tell the difference between a regular sedan and a Bentley. <laughs> yes, she can. <laughs> she's like. And what about Louis Vuitton? Yeah, she does know. She the does difference. know the difference. Louis Vuitton versus some other bag. She's like. <laughs> Bougie. Me? Gonna be a great mother. <laughs> She's about the lady. You can't have scandals. You right. can't. Put them down. Back on Craigslist. <laughs> so I thought. Come on. I got you a freak. You she doesn't have, have you a freak. You love it anyway. The freak is hugging. <laughs> the freak is me hugging you. Then let's kiss a little bit. Yeah, get some mud on your face. Watch girl. this. You want to see something gross? Yeah. Wait, not kissing me. Hold on. All right, kiss me. He's mad. He's mad. <laughs> I hope that your workplace is as cool as ours, and if it's not, I hope that I can inspire you through the passion project with FT.com. Like Come on, ride the, what's that thing called? Come on, ride the train. Whoop, 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 all right. Okay. <laughs> I hope that I'm able to inspire you in your workplace. If you are not having this much fun or if you just don't know what you want to do with the rest of your life, make sure to visit the Passion Project with FT.com. That's it for today, guys. Don't forget to count, count your blessings, blessings drink your protein, protein and, and say thank, thank you to Jesus. Jesus. Like Ronnie. <laughs> Bye. See you tomorrow. Yes.